Folium Nintendo 3DS emulator is now available in the App Store. While this does cost $4.99, you can always go to reportaproblem.apple.com and get a refund within 14 days if you're unhappy with the emulator. So inside of Folium, the first thing we notice is that we don't have the AES underscore keys for our Nintendo 3DS games to open and we don't have the games themselves. So to get the AES underscore keys, we will need to provide this file ourselves, but I'll show you how to add the file and how to format it. So first, open up the Files app. Then you will either need to select On My iPhone and then Downloads, or you select iCloud Drive and then the Downloads option. You should see your AES underscore keys file. Sharing this file will violate copyright law, but this is found inside of your Nintendo 3DS and it's also found in the Citra emulator. So you will need to get it from the 3DS or the Citra emulator. Sometimes when you try and import text files into the files app, if you do use the Safari browser, it will just open a new window, but it won't actually put that text file into the files app. So what you will need to do in this case is we would copy the text for the AES underscore keys, then download the pages app from the app store. This is completely free. You would then tap the plus option, then choose start writing. What we do from here is we paste the content of the text file, which was showing in our Safari browser and we paste it into the Pages app, then tap the triple dots, then select the Export button, then choose Plain Text. When we see this one, tap Save to Files, save this on my iPhone, and where it says the blank, we're gonna rename this to AES underscore keys dot text. Make sure this is all lowercase, and then tap the save option. Now we can open up Folium, tap the AES underscore keys, then select import. Then we see the dot text here. If not, tap the browse button and then locate on my iPhone or iCloud Drive and look for that keys, tap on the keys, and now the keys are added. We don't have the missing problem. To add our 3DS games, they need to be in the .3DS format. If they are in .zip, you can just tap the file to extract it, but if it's in .7z, .ra, we need to use a third party app. So to extract a .ra or .7z file, you would need to open up the App Store, and we will need to download the iZip, Zip, Unzip, Unra app. This is completely free. Then we need to locate our .raw file from the files app. We're going to long press the .raw or .7z file and then select the share option. We then need to swipe across and we need to open in the iZip. You may need to tap on more and then select the iZip option. Then we're going to wait for the unzip and then tap on OK to unzip the files. Once uncompressed, tap the circle to the left of the file name, then tap the share button and then select saved files. Then just save this on your iPhone, go to browse and tap on my iPhone if needed. Once your games are in .3DS format, currently, if you tap the plus option here, it won't let you import the 3DS games. Even sharing and opening in Folium doesn't seem to work. This needs to be fixed with an update. So what we need to do instead is open up the Files app and locate where your .3DS games are. We're gonna tap the triple dots on the top right hand side then select the select option. We're going to select our games which are in .3DS format. 
then tap the triple dots at the bottom right, and then choose Copy. We are then going to swipe back until we see the home page of the Files app. We will select On My iPhone, then we will scroll down and select the Folium. We will then choose Citrus. We will then locate where it says ROMs. Then long press on the empty space and tap on paste. Now when we open Folium, swipe down to refresh, open your games. When loading the games, sometimes the bottom screen doesn't work properly. So just go into landscape mode, then portrait and that will fix it. Controllers work with Folium, so you head to your Bluetooth settings and then on PlayStation, long press the PlayStation and share button to enter pairing mode and tap the controller here. On Xbox, just hold a button near the top. Nintendo, hold the button near the top. I will leave a link to my X page in the description if you want to see gameplay. I can't show gameplay on YouTube as Nintendo take down videos which show gameplay of their games inside of emulators.